I think I did it, ladies and gentlemen. I just spent some time building the absolute best, fastest, legendary farm which you can possibly have in a shrouded as of the day. Slap down a flame shrine just a couple meters away from the absolute best chest with level 25 legendary gear. You guessed it, in today's guide, we're gonna build exactly this farm. So you can get your hands on the absolute best legendary weapons in a shrouded, become unbeatable with a perfect build. So what are we waiting for? Let's start building. All right, so first off, you want to determine where you want to place your farm. I think it goes without saying that the more to the east you go, the more to the end zone, the better the loot will be and the higher the chances of finding the absolute best weapons in the game. The best legendaries of level 25. I already covered this in a full legendary chess guide, which you can find in the top right of the screen. Anyways, it's important to know that this farming method will work for any chest in the game. It doesn't make a difference while most best chests are in enshrouded territory. So let's focus on the one which I find the absolute best chest in the game to farm for loot. This one can be found in the eastern part of the world, in the Kindle Wastes, so also very close to the Quick Travel or Ancient Spire Kindle Wastes. From this place, you want to deploy your glider and jump down, fly to the northeast, as this is where you will find a sand temple. I already got so many questions from you guys asking like, wow, 4 am how did you get your flame shrine this close to the temple's chest? As, of course, this makes it even more efficient. But yeah, today I already beat myself at my own game, made this farm even better by placing a flame shrine like just a couple meters away from the chest, which is going to make this even better. Let me quickly explain it, as it was interesting and you can still use it for other farms. You basically want to get to the furthest place possible. At a certain point though, it will say enemies nearby or it will simply become red. Then you will log out and restart the game. Then you will basically reset all the spawns in the area because of your protected area around the shrine. You can place a new one and extinguish the previous flame. You basically rinse and repeat this process until you get all the way to the staircase right in front of the enshrouded place where you also have the door leading to the legendary chest. This took like four or five shrine altars to do, only a couple minutes work which is nice and all, but now we still have that door in front of us and after we open that we have to run down the staircase, find a second door to open and finally then we get our hands on that sweet ornament golden chest. This makes the run like 30 seconds long, while it can be like five, a lot more efficient as if you want to find the perfect item for your build, you probably have to do this for a couple dozen, maybe even over a hundred times before you find that specific item for your build. And yeah, you guessed it. My flame shrine is right next to it right now. So let me explain to you how exactly this works. So the strategy used is pretty similar. You want to have a flame altar or shrine just out of the shroud as that's buildable area. The nice thing is I found out today that if you break the wall behind the chest towards the east, you will very quickly land in not shrouded territory as yeah, behind the wall, it would be non playable area. But if you just break the wall, which is going to take some time with your pickaxe. So I suggest you to maybe even just mine the mycelium, which you can find a little bit to the left right here. Very easy to break as this will in no time give you access to the sandstone, which is actually behind the wall. If you mine straight ahead for a couple swings, at a certain point you will be out of the shroud. Place a flame shrine in this safe zone, out of the shroud, which can already give you a nice checkpoint to work on this build. With only a couple minutes work, you can already have your build up and running, while you can also break it entirely, so you want to be extremely cautious about that. Well, I'm also going to give you plenty of tips and tricks to make it very efficient. So you will have the absolute fastest legendary farm in the game. So what you want to do once you've slapped down your flame shrine is take out your building blocks. As now you no longer have to mine. You can basically use your hammer and the blocks we picked up earlier to place those 4x4 foundations and very quickly get rid of the sandstone walls, make this room a lot bigger. Now, it's pretty easy to build a bigger cave system. This is also something you can use for your current build. If you want to make a nice dwarven fortress in the mountains or, I don't know, in general, just want to get rid of a lot of terrain in no time. 
A bigger room also allows you to decorate it a little bit, make it look a little bit nice. I don't know, you're probably gonna be spending a lot of time in this area before you get your hands on the best loot in the game. Other people on the server without doubt also like to use this farm, so yeah, why not make it look a little bit nice while you're at it. Anyways, the next two steps are very important. There are a couple mobs upstairs, right above this specific room. These will from time to time prevent placement of your flame shrine by giving you the message enemies are nearby. So for that you want to go upstairs, open up the doors on the two sides upstairs, as here you can find these skeleton dudes, sometimes with a two-handed sword, but also with bow and arrow or sword and shield, which are pretty annoying to take out. While you can take all the time in the world to take him out, just remember that if you don't yet have your flame shrine right here, well, if you die, you're gonna spawn at the checkpoint we picked up earlier. Anyways, once you've killed them, you can place your flame shrine. Now we're gonna focus on having the distance between your flame shrine and the chest just right. So what you wanna do is have your building or protection line right in between the table, which you see right here, and the chest itself, because we're also gonna get rid of that table. But when you've mined it away and it's inside your protected area, it will simply never respawn again. So GG. Now though, we're gonna make this farm even faster, even more efficient with a little trick which you can use for anything in a shrouded. With your base building, I think an essential one to know about, the way how you rotate your flame shrine actually also determines how you spawn in the world. So if we look at the feet or the tripod shaped bottom, let's say, of the shrine, you want this one to face to forward left. Not exactly to the front, but if we rotate it a couple times, you can see that there are four different rotations. Four times 90 degrees. And if you have that tripod facing forward left, that means it will face towards the back. So if we spawn into the world, we will face to the chest every single time when we either quick travel or restart the world. So you don't always have to like turn around every time when you relock, which can be extremely annoying. But long story short, if you combine this rotation technique with the distance of your flame shrine, have it just right, then you will have the absolute best, most efficient legendary farm in the game. It can save you a lot of time in the long run, as if you're doing this for literally hundreds of times before you actually find that specific item you're searching for, well, do the math, this is going to save you a lot of time in the end. Anyways, look at that, we just got our hands in a sort of radiance with five times precise. If we pick this one up, we can literally have 25 critical hit chance when we fully upgrade this weapon. Anyways, this place, yeah, can be decorated to whatever you like it to be. I absolutely love using the luminescent blocks, especially with the shroud in this area. I think you can make some pretty epic looking details with it, which make this room light up in an even more epic way. But yeah, there you have it, the absolute fastest way to get your hands on the best legendary weapons in a shroud. If you enjoyed the content, be sure to leave a like. You have no idea how much time I spent in making this build. And of course, if you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe as a lot more Enshrouded is coming your way. So ladies and gentlemen, a big thanks for watching. That is it for today. Right now though, it's 4 a.m. out. I want to wish you an amazing day. I'll check you in the next video or live stream. Peace.